Welcome back to Eurocoded. Today I'm going to show you how to use grid lines on structural drawings. Also I'm going to show you how to read beam or column notation using a recommended reference system. A grid like this provides you with a very convenient system to reference columns or beams and it makes it very easy for someone who's reading a structural drawing to locate those reference columns or beams. This grid reference system is a typically recommended reference system. Typically you use A, B, C, D, E, F in this direction and one, two, three, four, so on in this direction. You can also see that you can use this side to number your grid. When you want to number your columns using this grid reference system, I can show you an example in here these two grid lines are intersecting and there is a column located at that location and we can use b and three this column would be numbered as b3 another example i can show you if you take this location this column would be g7 once you have numbered all of your columns, then you can go on to number your beams. Typically what you do is you pick the column situated in the lower left corner of a particular panel where you want to number your beams. If you take this panel, this particular panel, then we would pick this column, which is C3. Then we need to add a suffix number to that C3 to number our beams in that particular panel. We use 1, 3, 5, so on for beams spanning up the panel. And then we use 2, 4, 6 for beams across the panel. So if you take this particular panel, we can then number this beam as C3, 2 and we can number this beam as C31. If you take another floor panel, let's pick this particular panel, and then this column would be B5, and this beam would be B52, and this beam would be B51. That is how you can use a grid reference system to number your columns and your beams. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions about this video, please post your questions in the comment section. If you like the video, please like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in the next video.